Good morning, ESM. Today is Monday, November 9th, and it is a day two. Now on to your news with Bella. <laughs> Alex Trebek, known as the host of Jeopardy, has passed away the morning of November 8th, being only 80 years old. The cause of his death was not immediately announced. However, Trebek has been diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer since March 2019. Not only was Jeopardy a TV show landscape for five decades, Trebep has hosted over 37 seasons that include over 8,200 episodes. Although Trebek hinted that he was going to retire back in 2018, he agreed to sign one last contract that would have extended to 2022. Trebek's last day in the studio was October 29th. Not only was Trebek a show host, but he was active in the USO tours and visiting troops overseas. Trebek was also a spokesman for various charities, including World Vision. Trebek has earned numerous awards over the course of his career, including the Daytime Emmy Award seven times and a Lifetime Achievement Award. On Saturday, November 7, 2020, former Vice President Joe Biden was declared the winner of the election and the next President of the United States. And Senator Kamala Harris was the first woman ever elected on a major ticket for Vice President. After the AP announced that Biden won the states of Pennsylvania and Nevada, they reached 290 electoral votes, over the 270 needed. While North Carolina and Georgia's electoral votes are outstanding, it will not change the outcome. North Carolina is still favored for President Trump and Georgia is still favored for Biden, leaving a possible 229 points for Trump and 306 points for Biden. However, things are not fully resolved as Trump is still refusing to concede the election and is looking at several recounts and has several litigations outstanding. Although it is not likely the results will change, especially since lawsuits in Nevada, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Michigan were recently thrown out due to insufficient evidence, Michigan Judge Cynthia Stevens said while looking over evidence presented that alleged a poll watcher was instructed to tamper with a date on mail-in ballots. Come on now, what I have at best is a hearsay affidavit. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, and there's no announcements today, so right on to your weather with Grayson. Today we will have lots of sun with unseasonably excuse me, warm weather and we might even break the record set back in 1931 for the highest high in November. Today we will have a high of 73 degrees and a low of 51 degrees and lots of sun. Tuesday will be the same as Monday with a high of 73, with high of 73 degrees and a low of 59 degrees and another chance of beating the record, the record of a high of November, sorry, record, yeah. On Wednesday it is Veterans Day, so we have the day off, and we have a high of 70 and a low of 44. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday will start to cool down with highs in the mid-50s and lows of 37. Sunday we'll have showers with a high of 57 and a low of 38. I'm Grayson with your weather. Yeah, scroll down. The girls' soccer team beat Auburn on Friday 2-1 to maintain their undefeated record. Goals were scored by Angelina Polcaro and Abby Hudgens. There were a lot of close games yesterday in the NFL. 8 out of 12 of the games were within 7 points. Of those, the Pittsburgh Steelers keep their undefeated record after a close 24-19 win against the injury-plagued Dallas Cowboys. Coaches are uneasy as COVID-19 threatens high school winter sports, basketball, hockey, and wrestling are all close contact sports and are considered high risk for the coronavirus. The New York State Public High School Athletic Association has set anywhere from November 30th to December 14th as the earliest date to practice. And games will not be played until after 
January 1st. In upcoming games, the girls soccer team has a game at Central Square today and field hockey has a game at CNS. And I'm John, with Sports. And that's all we have for you guys today, so. From Allie, myself, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day.